now you would even be the top. Hey, this is Romeo Falcon here with Geeks and Wrestling. I'm not doing a podcast. I'm actually sitting here with my boys, and we came to NTWA, which is why you see us in this really solid, great, sturdy ring. <laughs> but anyway, we came up here, but we really wanted to talk about something a little geeky before we actually went down today and wrestled. So we wanted to talk about the DC Universe and the fact that the Suicide Squad trailer was just released. I'm pretty excited about it. I know this guy's excited about it. He's never excited about anything because he was just on the podcast. Yeah, well, He's I mean, not excited about anything. But I want to hear your thoughts about Suicide Squad. My thoughts? Loved it, except for my only little gripe, little fanboyish, and fuck you to all the fanboys anyway. But Harley Quinn's voice did. I, I always loved that Brooklyn accent. Yeah, go with that voice. Yeah, I mean, every time we bring up Suicide, suicide Squad, you gotta talk about that voice. The, the voice. Okay, the I, voice. I understand what you're accustomed to with Harley Everything Quinn. Everything else with Harley Quinn in that character is spot on perfect. It's just the voice to me that, like, it. It ties it all in together. At Wait. the very end of that trailer, you hear Harley Quinn say it though. We're bad guys. This is what we do. And I like the way she did it. There's I like the way she did There's it. still the wine. There's still the, the yeah. childish nature behind that. Oh, yeah. this, this, it's it's there. going to be there. The foundation wise of the Harley Quinn premise. Her so you're nature. telling me that if Harley Quinn was born in Australia instead of Brooklyn, you wouldn't like her? <laughs> I think he's got you there. I really do. I believe oh, Harley Quinn would. Keep rolling, can you? Yeah, I think he, I think he kind of got you there. Keep rolling, way to go, way to go. As a fan of Harley Quinn, I don't care what voice she has, she's still gonna get it. I just gotta worry about her hitting me with the bat. <laughs> or the hammer, like it. Or the hammer. Or the hammer. But I'll give it to you. However, so we move on from Harley Quinn in the way you are, okay? okay? I absolutely love the fact that Joker was in it, highlighted a little bit more, and I like the new depiction of Joker. You guys, thoughts? Well, we, talk, we, we touched on it earlier, and as I've said before, and anyone who knows me knows, Joker is my favorite comic book, cartoon, any kind of media bad guy out there. He is the ultimate bad guy, for multiple reasons. We still don't have a solid backstory. You don't know where he came from. You don't know fully what he's done. You know what he's partially capable of. We've seen him cut his own daggum face off. We've seen him torture Harley Quinn, who's the love of his life. We've seen so many dark and dis dis despicable things. But this is the Joker for this generation. Absolutely. Like, like we said earlier, yep. Jack Nicholson was the gangster Joker from the 1980s and 90s. The yes. perfect Cesar Romero, the comic, the... The, 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 the clown. The candy, the, the clown. clown. He was the clown. The true clown. Time for that version of Batman. And you brought up a good point. The 90s had Mark Hamill, right, as the Joker of our times with the animated series. And then we jump into Heath Ledger, who became the greatest, I would say, of the Jokers of that era. I think he did it too good that you can't really... Have, you can't, can't buy anyone... I can't buy anyone else as the Joker. Sure. I'm gonna was, give Leto a chance, but and I like, think, it's a little bit too much for me. And I don't think it's too much. I think it's exactly what the new generation are are expecting and wanting. They want that different no, Joker. I think you there's want, a difference I between know, they want they want they want a Joker that's grilled out like from Houston. Uh, hey, but that's yeah, <laughs> like yes, they really believe yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. What we expect and want, and what someone thinks we expect and want. But it's Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood okay. always is going to tell us what we want, okay. even though we don't want. But the only thing that's coming out that Hollywood doesn't really have a piece of is exactly what you're wearing right there, and that's Deadpool. That's going to be the best comic book movie that's ever come out, and is exactly what we want from the comics to the silver screen. But, okay, but, <laughs> like, but this is kind of like this. Alright, alright. What's the rating on this movie? We don't know yet. Has been it has been rated. Most likely it's going to be PG-13. Absolutely. Right? Right. 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 Okay, right. so therefore it's PG-13 and up, right? Yep. Wow. If I had a say-so as to what Joker would be in it, it wouldn't be that type of Joker because that's not what I want. I want the Joker that I know. So saying that it's being to this generation, any generation that knows Joker doesn't know this Joker that they're bringing out. Where, where does he, where does that style of Joker like? Where they the development, no, like, hold on, it's it's a development. Up, this is a developmental Joker for this no, era. I, Every I, Joker I, has a piece, like if you put all the Jokers in place from Caesar Ramon to Yes, Romero, every Joker Romero, has his place, but but you can tell like this, like Joker doesn't if you actually put all have of them together. If you mesh all of them together, you will get the Joker. Absolutely, but we don't have just a generic Joker. You have a generic Batman. Everybody knows what Batman's supposed to be, but as far as the Joker, the Joker can be any type of villain, which has been depicted in Gotham. We thought he was going to be the Joker, and then he died, which symbolized that other people can take that mantle to be a Joker. So we don't really know what a true definition of Joker is. Like I stated in the comic book, he's immortal. 
That's what they're relating it to, is that he's immortal. But that means the Joker can be any type of not Joker. Not necessary. Joker. Hell, we might even see a black Joker. Why, uh, why, why not? Why can't we? <laughs> why not? We got a black president. Black Joker. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we're talking shit now, six days. <laughs> but the way I look at it, what but we really, call it the, the way I look at it, what we have to be excited about right now is the DC universe is about to expand expand and blow up. I'm excited for it, Suicide Squad. I'm gonna have another video where we talk about Batman versus Superman and exactly what we I want to see in that. Trailer. Absolutely. And we'll talk oh, about that. You have a lot of good DC uh, shows with the CW right now with the Flash. Uh, you have Green Arrow. Now we have Legends of Tomorrow. And now we have Supergirl, which I think is a fabulous show. It's great. I love it. I really like it. I gotta watch it. Have a good time. Have a good time. I'll watch it. But before we get done, I want to get into a few plugs. Luther Black, take it away. Let them know where to find you. Oh, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook under the name of Luther Black. You can find me on Facebook at The Prince Canoe, aka Darkness. Shadow. Hakuna Bruh. Matata. <laughs> I just can't wait to be king.com. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let yes. him go. Let him go. Come on. That's it. Anyone? Is that it? Go ahead. It's Silky Veins. At Facebook, backslash SilkyB63. I don't take pictures, so I'm not on Instagram because I am a grown ass man. <laughs> and Hambone, take it away. You can find me on Facebook or Twitter at Hambone Lee. And also on YouTube channel Riblet Basket. If you're, if you're not a Riblet, you don't need to watch the channel. So there you go. You're so going to see a lot more. If you're not a Riblet, you're not hungry. <laughs> you're going to see a lot more of these guys. I really like having them on my channel to talk about this. You're going to see a lot more of these videos. You can find me, of course, on RomeoFalcon.com. Don't forget to <laughs> like, click, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a comment below. And also check out uh, RomeoFalcon.com for the podcast, Geeks of Wrestling Podcast. He was my first guest in 2016. Boom. Brienne is about to be my next guest of 2016. I was the first guest ever. And Chuck was the first guest ever. And but check out. Find it. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> so, no, get on, uh, no, so go to no. iTunes. Go to iTunes. Click like, subscribe to Romeo Falcon at uh, the Geeks of Wrestling Podcast. Check me out at RomeoFalcon.com. You guys got anything else? Nope. Canoe is good. No, no, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> this is Romeo Falcon, so check us out. Thanks a lot for being on, guys. We'll talk to you later.